Golf Central on YouTube. Brought to you by TaylorMade. 2010 U.S. Open champion Graham Adele only has a win in 2020, winning in Saudi Arabia. After news broke that his caddy, Ken Comboy, had tested positive for COVID-19, Graham withdrew from this week's event. He's kind enough to join us now on the phone. He's actually driving uh, from Connecticut uh, back to his home in the greater Orlando area. Graham, first of all, thanks for taking the time. How are you feeling? Uh, so, thanks, Gary. Yeah, um... Um, listen, I'm feeling fine. Um, obviously, it's been, a, it's been an interesting three or four days. Um, disappointed when we got the test results last night that Kenny had, uh, that had failed his test. He, he stayed back in Orlando. Um, he went up to Hilton Head at the weekend, uh, took a test Sunday morning. So we've been kind of waiting patiently for his results, trying to work out what the plan was going to be this week. And, uh, you know, I, uh, you know when, I, when I heard he was positive, it, it really kind of, you know, triggered some feels that, that I'd been having. I, I, you know, a second half of last week in Hilton Head, I really didn't feel myself. I kind of felt fatigued and had some muscle soreness and, and achiness. And, and really, you know, when he failed that test, you know, I had to, I had to kind of come to terms with the fact that, you know, despite passing multiple negative COVID tests, you know, and, and you know, to, to, the tests are showing that I don't have it. I really feel uh, like like there is a huge possibility that I might be carrying it right now. So. You know, I felt in the best interest, you know, of the field up at the Travelers Championship uh, and really just kind of my own general well-being that I needed to get myself home and rest up and, and get healthy. Uh, so, you know, decided not to fly for obvious reasons. I didn't want to put anybody at risk and making the long trip down the East Coast right now. So uh, working on my, uh, you know, my geography of the United States of America today. You know, Graham, it's interesting. When it was announced last night that, that Ken had, in fact, tested positive, you were quoted uh, with Golf Week's Eamon Lynch about your decision-making process. The, the conclusion to withdraw from the event, you were still eligible to play. Did as much of it have to do, is it a blending of not only everybody else's well-being, almost like you were protecting the field, because as you just alluded to, you think you might be carrying this virus. Yeah, like I say, I just, you know, I really just didn't feel myself last week in Hilton Head, um, you know, just fatigue generally. I mean, I put it down to just kind of being back on the road and grinding and practicing more after a few months off. And, you know, I just thought it was general tiredness. But then, you know, my, my trap started aching and my body started aching a little bit. And, uh, you know, I, I really decided to try and rest hard this weekend and try and recharge. And, and like I say, when, when Kenny failed his test, you know, I had to, I had to really start kind of um, weighing up the fact that, uh, you know, the, the amount of time that I've spent with Ken in the last 10 days, you know, we traveled to Hilton Head in the same car. We traveled back from Hilton Head in the same car. We stayed in the same house last week in Hilton Head, um, you know, living in each other's pockets, basically. I, you know, I, I find it difficult to believe, as contagious as this thing seems to be, that, that that, that I don't have it. I, I, I don't, you know, I, I understand. I mean, I'm getting tested. I've been tested twice this week. Both tests were negative, but I, you know, I really find it difficult to believe that I don't have it. So, like I say, in the best interest of the whole field up there in Connecticut, and, and uh, you know, just to, you know, the, the next few weeks, really, I thought it was important that that I get myself out of there and, and you know, make sure I'm healthy. Yesterday, Graham, you, you played a, a practice round. I believe nine holes. Brooks played with you. Brooks Kepka, his brother Chase, Ricky nice. Elliott, who is a dear friend of yours, who is Brooks Kepka's caddy. Ricky obviously got that positive test. Have you spoken to Brooks uh, since you guys played yesterday, and you made the decision, and subsequently he did as well to withdraw from the event? For sure. I mean, I you know Brooks and I were texting back and forward. I've spoken a lot with Ricky. Um, Shane Lowry was also in the group with us. You know, I, I spoke to Shane last night and this morning again. Um, you know, firstly, you feel apologetic, you know, for putting these guys in harm's way, you know, because before we played yesterday, um, I, I certainly had no idea that Kenny, Kenny could fail a test. And, you know, then afterwards when you get the news, you're like, man, you know, I'm putting, I'm putting these guys at risk. And then when Ricky, you know, obviously the guys went back in for retest this morning just to be sure because he'd spent time around me and obviously I'd been – you know, in contact with Ken, um, the guys went back in for retest this morning, and then Ricky subsequently failed this morning, having you know having had a negative test 48 hours previous on the Monday. So, you know, the testing thing is 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 kind of bizarre to me that you know you can be carrying it um, and it kind of you know be not detectable 
for a period of time within your body, and then all of a sudden it can pop, and, and you know, you, you test positive. So, you know, that sort of thing kind of worries me a little bit going forward, that guys could be running around and carrying this thing, and, and the tests are not showing it up to a certain point. But, uh, you know, kind of like Jay said in his press conference today, you know, and I agree with him, you know, it's uh, – it's the new normal. We, we have to learn how to live with this thing, and we have to do the best we can going forward. Graham, with respect to Jay Monahan, as you just alluded to him, ha- having spoken to the media this afternoon and, and basically saying that every week is an advancement of the practices and procedures, uh, would you be an advocate for more testing, testing on a daily basis? Um, for sure. I mean, I think anything that we can do to, to be healthy, to be safe, to continue, you know, like Jay said, you know, we, you know, we want to be back to golf for the long term. Is this is not a, this is not kind of a four, five, six, six event deal that we're trying to get done here. We're trying to get this, we're trying to get the game of golf back, you know, uh, permanently. So anything that we can do to be safe, healthy, I think the players are all for it. Um, you know, if there was any. If there was any level of the guard being down the first couple of weeks, I think, you know, with, with more positive tests this week, I think guys are guys are having to respect this, even if they weren't, you know, maybe, you know, taking it seriously enough in the beginning. But, um, you know, I feel like, you know, certainly inside the bubble, being out there in the golf course, I mean, it's been different the last couple of weeks. But guys, you know, guys are respecting it. Guys are doing their best to, to, to you know, be hygienic. You know, the caddies are doing a great job with flags and rakes and being out there and, and trying to do their best, and you know, the it, it is so easy to let your car, your guard down for a second and just forget what what's going on. Um, you know, as we're out there and there's, you know, no crowds out there, and you know, we're just out there playing golf, and you know, you you, you for a second can forget that we're going through, you know, one of the most crazy pandemics, you know, in the history of the world. I mean, it's uh, it, it really is strange, and uh, you know, I think like Jay says, I think we, we continue to learn and evolve, and 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 you know, the protocol will will tighten up and, and they'll get better as we go forward. Graham, last thing. Do, do you think, uh, and I know that Jay was asked this multiple times today, that there is an actual threshold of positive tests in any given week that would result in an event being shut down? Very tough to tell. I mean, I'm sure they have a number in mind where it feels like, I, I think the second they feel they lose control of, you know, well, a perceived a perceived control um, of kind of being able to um, keep keep the players as safe as possible. Um, you know, I think shutting golf down. I mean, if we got to a point where we had to shut it down, I mean, what happens next? How do we how do we come back from that? Because COVID nineteen is not going away anytime soon. So if we get to a point where we have to shut it down, um, it's very very difficult to kind of see where where we come back from from this in the near future. So. Um, you know, we, we trust the PGA Tour. We trust they're doing the, the best job that they possibly can right now to help us live uh, and function in this new, this new world with this virus and uh, keeping the players as safe and the support staff as safe as possible and uh, trying our best to keep playing golf. But, but, but we'll see. You know, like I said, we trust them. They're doing a great job. They're doing the best they can. And, um, you know, they're certainly evolving and learning uh, every week as we go along. Well, listen, I know that there is an uneasiness. I'm not feeling 100%. Uh, be careful uh, driving home back to the, the central Florida area. Thank you so much for taking the time. You got it, Gary. Thanks. Throughout the day, the players who have recused themselves from this event posted statements via social media, starting with four-time major champion Brooks Kepka. Here is what he had to say about withdrawing from the Travelers Championship. I haven't tested positive for COVID-19, but as I've said all along, I'm taking this very seriously. I don't want to do anything that might jeopardize the health of any player in the field or his ability to compete. The right thing to do right now is get home, support Ricky, and feel confident that I'm doing what I can to what I can do protecting my fellow tour members, my PGA Tour friends, and everyone associated with the Travelers Championship this week. Now, here is a statement from Brooks. Brooks's brother, a Monday qualifier, Chase Kepka. He wanted to say thank you to everyone who sent me messages about successfully Monday qualifying for this week's PGA Tour event. Despite being very excited about playing the Travelers Championship, I am electing to withdraw. Myself and my team have tested negative for COVID-19. However, I was in close contact with someone who tested positive. I feel as if this is the best decision to keep all other players, caddies, and volunteers safe. I wish everyone the best of luck 
this week. And then finally, the winner of the RBC Heritage, Webb Simpson, on his withdrawing from the event. In the last 24 hours, I had a family member test positive for COVID-19. While my tests this week were negative, I feel like it is my responsibility to take care of my family and protect my peers in the field by withdrawing from the Travelers Championship. I'm going to return home to Charlotte and quarantine under CDC guidelines, and I look forward to returning to competition after that time period.